Hi everyone, Matt here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to the ABI Dirt. If you missed the ABI Dirt last time around, you missed a doozy last time here in the dirt. We announced to you first, before we announce to anyone else, uh, that ABI Attachments has partnered with Premier Equestrian to launch a brand new line of synthetic arena grooming tools. We're thrilled to offer this lineup to you, and today is the episode that we're going to walk through the components and the makeups of each of those models. Uh, we're calling this new line of synthetic arena groomers the Sport Pro line. Uh, the Sport Pro line has three models and a variety of configurations so that you can get exactly what you need no matter what moisture content or additive you've got in your synthetic arena. So let's take a look. So here we go. This is gonna be a lot of fun talking through each component because there are a lot of components. There's a lot of adjustability, so stick with me. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, here, I am right beside the M5 model of the Sport Pro line. Uh, we have made sure that each of these ground and gauge components have independent adjustability. You can see quite a few adjustments here, and we've given it those independent adjustability so that you can dial in for your specific arena, your specific footing, your specific additive, uh, and get the exact depth and surface tension that you want to your footing. Once you've got your components adjusted for everyday use, you can lock them in. That way you've got consistent results in your arena, no matter who's operating the tow vehicle. Now that takes care of your daily maintenance, but every now and then, when you're with arena footing that's got those synthetic fibers or synthetic additive in it, you need to have a comprehensive blending. You need to remix the footing, which is why we provide on each one of our grounding age components the ability to move those components from a more passive to a more active adjustment. Next up, these are the rollers. You can choose to configure a model with either one or two rollers on your unit. And you'll notice that our rollers have a twisted rod design, which maximizes and optimizes the packing so you can control the density of your rain footing, and it minimizes trailing so that you can have a nice, smooth, and clean finish behind your drag. One of the key advantages of a twisted rod designed roller is that it has constant contact with the ground. That means that you're gonna have far less bounce while you're grooming your arena. Now on the dual roller model, having a roller on the front and back gives you the added benefit of gauge security. What I mean by that is having a roller on both front and back gives you a plane of operation, which for those of you who have either mats or fabric or a, a level base underneath your footing, it's going to prevent your ground and gauge components from snagging anything you don't want to be snagged. So here in the heart of the Sport Pro model is the first of the two vertical agitation components. So you can see here on this M5, we've got the S-Times installed. You also have the option instead of S-Times uh, to opt for Scarifiers. Now, whether you pick the Scarifiers or the S-Times is really dependent upon you and your usage and the density of your footing, as well as the type of additive you've got in your footing and how much moisture you like to have. If you've got limited water in your arena, or if your particular type of synthetic additive requires more frequent mixing, then you'd wanna opt for the S-Times because it allows more comprehensive blending of material. The S-Times are also ideally suited for those of you who like to self-amend or self-install additional additives or materials. Remember, with that give of the s time it creates kind of a roll of material, so it blends in new additives or new materials into your existing footing. Next up, you can see behind your, your primary or your first uh, vertical agitation component, you've got uh, the coil times here on the Sport Pro Series. So when we opted for coil times, we opted for two rows of staggered coil times and not just a single time. We wanted to provide you maximum kind of stirability to really make sure the fibers were getting all mixed in. So we opted for a, a double pronged time. So two rows of double coil times. Uh, and you can also see right here on my left, uh, the adjustability to, to change the angle of engagement on these coil times uh, from completely disengaged and passive all the way up to a very vertical, very active state. Uh, in the passive state, uh, in a more angled, uh, kind of rear-facing approach to these coil tines, uh, it's ideal for stirring in the fiber to cover up hoof prints, uh, kind of your basic grooming scenario. It also works great because there's so much tension on those coil tines to press large fibers back down into your footing. And in a more active state, those coil tines become much more vertical. There's more tension, more forward motion on those tines, which means it works great to aerate, to mix, and also to help level that arena footing. Right behind the coil tines is the smoothing bar. The smoothing bar is adjustable in quarter inch increments. That way you can optimize the precision of your leveling. You can note that our smoothing bar, we opted for a, a cylindrical tube. 
So having the, the leveling bar made out of a cylindrical tube uh, allows the material to flow smoothly under the bar, giving you the, uh, the smoothing and the leveling properties that you'd be looking for and needing from an arena drag, but also it allows material to flow over the top of the bar so that you're not building up an excess amount of footing, you're not pulling footing where you don't want it to go, and you're not clogging up the flow of material. Now let's talk about dimensions. Both the M3 and the M5 come in five foot and seven foot widths. What's right for you depends upon your arena size, depends upon your tow vehicle, and depends about how wide your gate is. Now speaking of the size of arena, uh, you may have been recently reminded how big your arena is. When, as you take a walk around your arena, even a small arena feels big, when you're pulling in the footing away from your sidewalls, uh, which means you may need an arena groomer that has a rail blade. Uh, a rail blade option is available for both the M5 and M3. And, now speaking of the sidewalls, if you're particularly concerned about the quality and look of your sidewalls and you want to make sure that your groomer never comes close, we have side wheels available for these units as well. Now if your go-to tow vehicle for grooming your arena is a compact tractor, the M5 comes with a patent-pending swivel hitch. The swivel hitch on this M5 means that when you are grooming your arena, this unit is going to track agilely behind your tractor so that you can move around jumps and rails and the unit's following and tracking right with the movement of your tractor. But then, as you're leaving the arena and you pick the unit up, this M5 is going to straighten and lock itself in so you don't have to worry about gates or doors. The M3 comes standard with a single point pin or optional ball coupler connection. And it comes with a wheel transport system for easy connect and go experience, allowing you to lift all of your ground and gauge components off the ground. Arenas with high clay or high fiber content should consider the scarifiers as their primary and frontmost vertical agitation component. In contrast to the S-Times, the scarifiers are rigid by design, allowing them to better help you to loosen hard compacted materials. And if you're thinking that, you know, you could probably use the S-Times sometimes and the scarifiers another time, that's no problem at all. These components are actually easily interchangeable uh, with a tool to swap out. For smaller tow vehicles, like smaller ATVs, zero turn mowers, or utility golf carts that have a hitch, the Sport Pro M1 is a pared down version of the M3. There are fewer components, which means that tow vehicles with lower horsepower can still efficiently operate it inside of an arena. The M1 comes with the S-Times that you saw earlier, the same wheel transport system so that you can efficiently get in and out of your arena without dragging rocks in or footing out. You still have your smoothing bar and you still have that twisted rod roller on the back. That's the overview of the Sport Pro line, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember, if you've got any questions about how this tool can be configured for you, your arena, your facility, give us a call. We've got an entire team of product specialists available to talk with you or, you know, jump online, get some more information and come right back to us. We look forward to hearing from you in the future.